Welcome, everyone. Meet Crystal Barrington, our assistant for the day. Today, we're doing a science experiment where we are going to grow crystals on this teddy bear. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to do a time lapse and we'll have a look at it afterwards with an explanation. So stick around all the way to the end and see what we end up doing to these crystals. Okay, let's jump right in with the list of the ingredients that we're going to need. So for today's crystal growing experiment, we're going to use normal non-iodized table salt. We're also going to use household cleaning ammonia. And lastly, we're going to use Mrs. Stewart's laundry bluing. After the time lapse, I'll give a short explanation of how these three ingredients work together to make these awesome crystals. Uh, to prepare Crystal for this experiment, I'll get her damp with ammonia and then I'll mix the other three ingredients together and stir them together in a shallow bowl and I'll set Crystal in the bowl and lastly I'll add some food coloring to the top of her head, her ears and her shoulders and I'll drip some blue food coloring into the Crystal solution and we'll see what happens. Let's jump into the time lapse. Wow, guys, this is fantastic. Look at how cool this is. These are almost mind-blowing how awesome they turned out. So what happened is by adding the bluing, we changed the chemical composition of the salt crystals to form these branching plumes of salt. So what happens is the bluing contains ferric ferrocyanide which is tiny little particles and it's like an iron salt basically and the salt crystals form around that instead of themselves usually salt will form a cube but instead they form around these small iron like particles and it creates these awesome blobs of blooming crystals like this and the ammonia is there to speed up the process because the ammonia evaporates quickly it evaporates the water it creates like a wicking effect that draws the solution up and out the top as it evaporates so it creates these awesome blossoms here we're taking a closer look the crystals even grew around and to the underside of the bowl I, I ruined some of them when I picked it up because my fingers hit them so you'll see uh, they're very delicate and fragile crystals and right now most of them are still moistened and growing actually uh, but they will soon start to dry out once that ammonia and solution runs out okay now that we've took a good close look at these crystals I think Crystal Barrington did her job very well and she wants to get cleaned up so let's give her a shower so let's take a look at how delicate these crystals really are okay we set up a little shower station basically for crystal um, so we could take a little closer look at these crystals I even damaged them just moving the bowl so as you can see when I go to pick them up they're very fragile kind of powdery um, they're still moist because like I said they're probably even still growing but they would normally dry out and start falling apart once all that liquid is gone. So let's see what happens when we spray Crystal down with water and give her a shower. You'll see the crystals melt away and let's get her back 
to as close as we can to her normal condition, and we'll see what happens. I'll speed this up. Yay! Crystal! You look fantastic! Wow, Crystal cleaned up really well. So we can use her again for another crystal growing experiment. Actually, I thought, why don't we see how many different kinds of crystals we can grow on Mrs. Barrington here? So we already did salt crystals. Check. So next we will do, hmm, I'll have to think about it. Maybe copper sulfate? We'll think about it. I even have another bear already being time-lapsed because I'm doing a slight variation of this because I had so much fun doing it and I want to see how it turns out different with a slight variation. So I might post that as a short or another video, who knows. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like and subscribe to join this channel. We're going to do all kinds of cool projects. Bye-bye.